This is a high boy. It's a high clearance spray rig that's been modified to spray cover crop seed onto standing corn crops. So essentially what we do with it is we calibrate the sprayer to put on the right number of pounds of whatever mix we're using and then we essentially use GPS to identify where in the field we've been and where we're going and we drive up and down the corn row spraying seed under the canopy. Those booms are at the top of the top of the corn and the hoses dangle down and spray the seed under the corn. It's about six foot three to six foot four under the belly and then the booms run about nine feet in the air and it just drives over the corn. So it, the corn just bends down and it stands back up. Just on the end rows where you turn, you might hit some corn. That's unavoidable, but up and down the field, uh, very little damage. But on 20 inch rows, it's very important to see to the ground. And we actually look under the corn where the tire's riding and we can tell we only have two inches to play with. So it's very important that we know exactly where the tires are. And another big deal is the tires move in and out and having that set exactly right to fit exactly in the center of the rows is important on the skinny rows. On, on the 30 inch rows, it's, it's a lot easier. So these are hydraulically driven and they will move out two feet or in two feet, all four tires. So you can match different row spacing we acquired this through a NRCS CIG grant and we acquired the machine itself from Iowa. They're manufactured commercially out there. A couple of unique features is one, it's higher than a normal high boy. It's got a little more ground clearance and it's also got front mounted booms, which is unique to this area. UVM extension is devoted to figuring out cover cropping to reduce erosion and help with nutrient uptake and build soil health, all good things. And the issue has become timing of seeding. A lot of farmers grow long season corns, which doesn't allow a lot of time after corn harvest to get the cover crop growing. So we acquired some equipment to uh, provide a way to seed all through the summer starting at top dress with an inner seeder to moving towards this during midsummer now in August, July, August. And then we even have equipment for after the corn comes off, drills and other methods uh, for post-harvest seeding. So the high boy is all about extending the window. A lot of people say that it will compete with the corn, but it doesn't. Research has shown that it doesn't compete with a corn crop for nutrients because the corn is so far ahead of the cover crop that it's actually pulling nutrients from a different portion of the soil profile. What this tool gives us is a lot of flexibility. We can run any number of mixes of seed through this quickly, accurately. So this tool is very flexible with respect to meeting the varied demands of the farmers. Farmers are really getting into cover cropping. They want to do different mixes on different fields and, and this tool works very well for doing that. We, we just draw up the mix, we, we put it in the box, change some calibration numbers, and off we go.